I went there and asked. It's me difficult to I describe it. It's so difficult to describe it. Killing, shooting. I came here to protect myself and my wife and my children. I came by difficult way on foot. I came on foot and also they came on foot. <laughs> آه نمرة واحد أول شيء نحن في في المدينة يعني اللي بعض المشاكل الحاصلة بين المشاكل القبلية هو خلانا جرينا جينا هنا ال P O C. A P O C is a protection of civilians site. That's the abbreviation. And this would be something that's pretty unique to to South Sudan, um, where the military mission, in this case it's, it's UNMIS, United Nations mission in South Sudan, are providing protection in an area that is adjacent to their military base. It all comes down to where can these people go? And the POC is their last resort. يلا بيلقوا مشكلة اكتساب في الهطب يا واسا دارين نعلم لهم لو كان عندنا قوة عشان يلقوا غمور عشان يلقوا اكتساب ده حاجة لنا قاعد نعمل When you have like humanitarian crisis in, in countries like Libya, Iraq, Syria uh, and Yemen uh, it is paramount for the clusters to, to come up with the strategies that are much more cost efficient and in that case cash based interventions is one of the examples Cash is a form of delivering aid that provides people with the freedom to choose how to respond to their basic needs as opposed to an international organization deciding this for them. What we are doing in the WOW POC is a distribution of vouchers that they have a specific cash uh, value that IDPs can exchange for a restricted number of materials to upgrade the shelters. What we're doing here in WOW is that we're relocating 7,000 people from one zone of the camp into another zone of the camp. We're, at the same time, we're providing them with shelter upgrades. One is to put elephant grass on the roof, and the other one is to provide bamboo thatch walls on the shelter exterior. <laughs> What's going on? We, we're distributing the vouchers for the second round, which is the, the touch bamboo walls with the door. So once the beneficiaries have received the vouchers, they march up to the market area and they exchange it with the traders for the materials that are necessary to perform the shelter upgrades. With this protection, the plastic sheet will last for at least 12 months. So already we have, uh, we have cut our costs in half. I bambude be khali bed be kuni ni barid asani ni sakana asjar zata fi mahalde asjar mafi yala bambude kan bed amun ba babu grasses de bed be kun barid. Take wrap it up and let us go to take wall and. We made a market assessment and a capacity analysis of what the traders who are actually residing and working inside wow could could produce and how they could uh, supply us with the material, if they could supply us with the, the necessary material for the upgrades. Most of those traders who are now getting involved in this, these projects were traders before this. So when the conflict started, I think most of the goods and shop were destroyed, were stolen, so they don't have anything else to start with. But now when we start you know, engaging them in this project. I think some of them were really happy. Uh, they can bring in the materials. They can also go to the markets. Before I moved to the POC, have my uh, business, I have my shops in uh, Joe Market. 
they knock but I chew the door, knock, they knock the door, they knock the door. My money, I put it uh, under the bed. They put, pick the bed like this, they found money. Oh! <laughs> I call him Omran. Now he is three months old. And I feel safety here. And I protect my family here. They're, they're learning how to fetch bamboo. And it's a very necessary skill inside the POC. A lot of the traders uh, are working with bamboo, but uh, they lack the sufficient manpower to actually produce uh, lar large quantities of bamboos as is needed for the, for the purpose of this project. We're creating a demand, and then we're also trying to provide the necessary technical skills. So it means that if we train them, these people can be able to go back to wow towns and everywhere, they can still go ahead with that skill to be able to, to get job being paid and then improve their own life. أنا جيت لترينينج لأن واحد عشان استفيد الشيء الثاني عشان أقدر إنه اللي زان رجعته بعدين لمحلي أنا قاعدة فيه أقدر أوصل المعلومة ده لباقي الناس الناس ذات معي في الحلة أقدر أدربهم عشان يستفيدوا. أنا بتمنى لأنه أنا حسي حاليا بقرا في الجامعة في اندرمان اللي هي في خرطوم وحسي بسبب الظرف اللي فيه الناس أنا قاعدة هنا وما عارفة أي خبر عن الجامعة قاعدة بس يعني لا عارفة الناس سمستر أسي وصلوا سمستر كم ولا شيء يعني أنا سنة تعطلت سنة كاملة أنا بتمنى أطلع لو في أمانة عشان أقدر أخص أخلص باقي دراستي عشان نشوف الباقي العليش يعني بالنسبة لي أنا أنا بشوف إنه المحل بيكون آمن هنا جوا ولكن المشكلة الإنسان بيعاني منه هو التفكير الكثير أنت بتفكر إنك أنت عايز تكمل ولما تسمع إنه أصحابك هسي وصلوا سمستر كده ولا زول يدق لك إنه أنا هسي قاعد أسوي كده ولا لما تشوف زول شغال في حاجة وأنت قبل كده يعني شريتها كان منيتك تشتغله بجد بكون يعني صعب معك شديد بالنسبة لي يعني لو أي لو أي لأي إنسان لو سألني مثلا أنا قلت إنه أنا بعرف بضفر جنة لو حاجة لو كان ما في جنة أو ما في أي حاجة ما في شيء بيثبت لي غير إنه أنا أجيب الشهادة إنه هو يقرأ وبيعرف إنه أنا أخذت التراني فعلا وأنا بعرف بمشي so At the end of market we sit down with them we collect the vouchers from them and we have them sign on on a document to say that this person has this much of material that he has sold. And then afterward, we bring it to the office to process the money. We as an organization did not have to hire cashier laborers to do it. This product, we were only using conditional cash. The beneficiaries would not get paid until they had completed the upgrades, and the traders would not be paid until they had uh, brought in the vouchers and they had been cleared by IOM. By having them get getting cash, I think it's really good things. Like if you give me voucher or cash, then I can I can at least see cash as a ownership. This is something that people want. They, they want to be able to, to affect their own lives. They want to be able to, to take the steering wheel back. But in some contexts, I think we can actually shift a lot more responsibility to the communities themselves. I spend the money for, to buy. I spend it to buy to things to my children and schools for eating, for drinking, and for transportation and for other things, yeah.